Hey there, how y'all doing this afternoon? We are here with another super quick, easy, but super delicious meal. This summer, I am Lainey Stump. Well, I guess I'm Lainey Stump all the time. But this summer, Lainey Stump is putting together some easy steps to wellness. This is week 10 that we've been doing this. And we've been focusing last week and this week on our super easy meals because I love to help people make better choices in the food they eat and the products they use. They can look better, feel better, and have more energy. Today's meal is Mexican chicken. It is, it's not even a recipe. It is, you're just throwing it in a crock pot or in my case, in an instant pot. It is so good. But it's after five o'clock and mine hasn't been in the crock pot all day. So I will just be dumping it all in the Instant Pot, mixing it up, bringing it up to pressure, and turning it off. So, you know, and it's just as good. So this is how we start. Now, please be mindful. This is for more than 10 people. And we will eat the vast majority of it tonight, but there will still be some leftovers. If you are not feeding anywhere near a dozen people, scale this back <laughs> because I started out with four cups of dried black beans that I cooked in my instant pot earlier. You could use a can or two if you're feeding like a normal group, but yeah, that's a lot of black beans. So to that, we're gonna add up, add in like one and a half chopped up chicken breasts. Right into the pot. And a small amount of corn, just for the sweetness. We don't load up on corn. There's much left in that bag. And then, remember, we're not big fans of chunky tomatoes. So, we're gonna blend. This is a diced tomatoes with green chilies, Rotel type stuff. Now, if you're making a normal amount, that's probably all you need. Um, we need more sauce, so I add in about a cup of salsa. See, this is the size jug salsa the stumps use. Um, but if I added in two cans of the green chilies, it would be too hot. So that's a medium salsa. It adds a little heat, but the more adventurous among us will add in hot sauce to it to even bring it up more. About a teaspoon of salt. If your beans are already salty, don't add the salt until you taste it. My beans have had no salt added. And then sour cream. Now, this is, or not sour cream, it's cream cheese. This is actually the one third reduced fat. It, cream cheese is nutrition flour cheese. It's a legit cheese. This isn't like some sort of Franken food. This is a real cheese, it, but it has a third less fat than cream cheese and you won't miss it. Um, so don't get non-fat cream cheese. That stuff is nasty, it's slimy, it's gross. But this takes away some of the fat, which we're not afraid of fat, but because we're eating the beans, the carbs from the beans, um, we wanna reduce our fat. And so I do a full block of cream cheese because this is going in this huge pot. Um, I don't like mixing my carbs and my fats um, normally, but so this cream cheese is gonna get basically diluted, I guess, around. And then I'll blend that up. And the other thing about blending it like this, it mixes up the cream cheese for you so you don't have to, which is kind of, you know, otherwise you might get lumps and that's gross. So blend that up and I'll dump it in like I said, I'll probably just bring it up to pressure, but works just fantastic in the crock pot all day long. Also, I have made this ahead, scraped it into a Ziploc baggie, thrown it in a cooler and driven down to Florida and eaten it down there. So it freezes well. It's a great versatile meal. My kids will eat it with corn chips, tortilla chips. Um, I love it over brown rice or quinoa, either one. So that's what is what we're having for dinner tonight. Unless you want to come and join me at McAllister's Deli where Kim and I are going to be doing a class on non-toxic cleaning. 
and I made frappuccino cake. So you probably want to come and get some of that. It's sugar free. It's delicious and gives you kind of a taste of Starbucks with none of the guilt. So I would love to see you there. Anyway, until the next meal, have a great evening. Bye.